There's body cam video of the arrest of a well-known baker who later died in the Cleveland County Jail. And it is shedding light on what state Shannon Hanchett was in leading up to her death. News 9's Felice Romero joins us live with a call to action from the Norman City Council. Felice? The responding officer says she was behaving like someone with a mental health disorder. The Norman City Council is now wondering if the proper resources are in place. The arrest of well-known baker Shannon Hanchett is leaving Norman City Council with questions. Ma'am, please tell them. <laughs> Brandy Studley reading part of the arrest report out loud during their meeting. Upon arrival, I contacted the defendant who was exhibiting behavior that was consistent with some type of mental health disorder. She says at that point, a mental health professional should have been called to de-escalate the situation. Instead, she was arrested, taken to jail, and subsequently died 12 days later at the Cleveland County Detention Center. The Oklahoma Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse says there were mental health beds available that night and the 12 days leading up to her death. Studley pointing out that the city has allocated thousands of dollars for a mobile crisis response unit and 988. Clearly all of this hasn't been enough and our system and city policies have once again failed us. She's making a request for their next meeting. Adding to the agenda so we can vote on the formation and funding of a mobile crisis response unit and have a study session before the meeting discussing everything that this city has learned. The Norman Police Department says at the time of her arrest, Hanchent did not meet criteria under state law for an involuntary protective custody detention. Studley would also like to look at how MPD handles these calls. I am waiting back on a response from the Cleveland County Sheriff's Office to see if she was evaluated in custody. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, Feliz Romero, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.